Rupert Svensson Cook. I am business director of Veloce Esports. Uh, what did I do before I uh, worked here? I was a racing driver. Uh, Given my life to being a racing driver, actually. It was my dream from, from the age of eight, really. Uh, somehow, stars aligned, miracles happened, and at 15 years old, I found a sponsor to take me from go-karts into cars. Followed my dream and my passion uh, in motorsport, went through Formula BMW, Formula 3, uh, testers, uh, GP2, F2 as it's called now. Um, race winning success, you know, one on the way to be fair. And then sort of that, that stopped overnight. The, 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 the big sponsor, investor and, and, and backer that I had stopped very suddenly. And I found myself in no man's land, so 22 years old, not knowing where to go, what to do. Uh, I ended up finding myself in India with Dallara, um, testing and developing a, a new racing car that they'd, they'd sold to India. And I uh, saw these young Indian drivers who were talented, had ability, but uh, no idea how to come to, to Europe and, and follow the path to Formula One. You know, so I'd, I sort of very quickly parked the being a racing driver uh, dream because it was just impossible because of budget. And I started bringing, bringing young drivers across from India and into the UK, started at a management company, um, doing everything. I mean, I'd pick the drivers up from the airport, take, do the deal with the team, have breakfast, lunch and dinner with them, coach them, do the data, do the contracts, find the sponsors. Do, like, I would literally end to end everything with these drivers. Um, but it was a great learning experience. And I tried to scale that business up, which is what Veloce Sports became. A stable crew of drivers that I was looking after, and then about a year ago, uh, Jamie, who is now a partner in the company, came to us uh, at a time when the business was sort of at a bit of a turning point and said, "How about esports? You know, you've got the motorsport side of your business, but what about esports?" And I really, honestly, was very reluctant. I was oh, it's games, you know, like where's the? I'm a, I'm a purist at heart. I love you know going to race tracks and smelling petrol and get my hands dirty and. And, and, and that side of things. And when I then saw the opportunity with it, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing how much, how quickly esports has taken off for us. I have more passion doing what we're doing now uh, in esports um, than I have for a long time in anything that I've been doing in motorsport, purely because, I mean, our, our majority of our, our esports stable is proof of, you know, we, 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 we take the talent and we sign the talent based 100% on how good they are. And it's not, uh, the, pool, the, the pool of talent that we're looking at is millions. So you, you, you can, you're giving drivers opportunity based on the fact that they're just superstars, not on perhaps the fact that they have a government or a billionaire father, which is fine. That's the side of motorsport that, that we have to have and, 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 and thrive off. But at the same time, we're able to bring in people into our sport that, um, Otherwise, we'd never have a chance. Danny Bresney, I mean, he's perfect. I mean, it's funny, he called me this morning to, to wish me happy Christmas and, and say thank you very much. He said, you know, I signed my contract in, in, uh, in January with you guys and, I mean, look what's happened in 12 months. He's gone from his bedroom in, 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 in outside of Budapest to being a, a factory driver with Mercedes in Formula One, um, being paid a handsome salary and, you know, he's on a, on a good pathway to success. I think he just was at the Christmas party with Lewis Hamilton last night, so there you go. There's proof of uh, the, 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 you know, really, we are making superstars out of kids from their bedrooms. It really is one foot in front of the other every day because no one's done it before. Um, the space is, is evolving and changing so quickly. One thing is for sure is that one thing I love is, is embracing and working with the, the, the community that exists in, 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 the, in the esports world. Um, and somehow be in the middle ground between us, the, the motorsport world, and the way that the very intricate and, and at times frustrating world of motor racing with the, this sort of fresh, um, completely unregulated, but very, very um, passionate group of, of, of esports fans and gamers. So I suppose I want to continue growing that, that, that crossover between the two. Um, you know, we, we already have as a, as a network, uh, you know, one of the biggest, way, well, the biggest viewership. And I think that's one thing we're going to continue to grow.